Hello, baby boy, baby girls. <laughs> Welcome into the hourglass. It is Aries season. Happy birthday to the Aries in the house. Today's my brother's birthday, actually. So happy birthday, G. <laughs> we have presents. Wow. And I spoke about enjoying the present while jumping forward. So some of you may be getting a lot of self-awareness or awareness of a reality of a connection. Some of you may be paying extra attention to a certain way how you connect with a different or another individual. We have four, four. So some of you may be craving security or stability or just structure in this connection. You know, four is a very solid numbers. Think about a house, four walls, right? Some of you are getting angel assistance about the stabil stability or the awareness of this connection right now. For others of you, someone may be working to be reliable or going back to work again to try and ground their finances. That's just what I got. All right, and that is the crown chakra. So some of you may be expanding in the crown chakra. Again, more awareness. This could be all about yourself or about how you're connecting with things in your life. Some of you are like seeing lights or fractions of light. Or it's like you're looking at patterns or patterns are jumping out to you to bring more awareness. All right. So let's see what's going on with your person. Let's see what channel messages, what energy will you guys could be tethering or what needs to be looked at tender, love and care with these chakras. Damn. Somebody's getting more awareness about a connection they share with you. Let's talk about it. Mm. The third eye chakra. Hello. So this is all higher chakras here. The crown and the third eye is very much active. We have emotion. So, you know, your person could be going through a ray of emotions right now, like going through all of the emotions on the scale. And, you know, with more awareness, with looking deeper into things, again, with the third eye chakra, your person is getting more awareness. So maybe some things that they didn't see before, now they're seeing it and they could be feeling a little weird or heavy or like un comfortable that now they're seeing it it's like a little bit of uh like why didn't I not see that like it, it it feels like that like wow that was right in front of me and I did not see it and then they feel a way about it <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So the third eye chakra being that we have the symbol here, it could mean that your person may have confused or muddled thinking right now. And because they are uh, moody, I feel like it's affecting them deeper than what they let on. Some of you, this person could be experiencing nightmares or you're experiencing nightmares or dreams that you don't really understand. And you're like rejecting what your intuition or what your third eye is trying to reveal to, to you or to this person. You know, if you're wanting to activate or your third eye is always activated, it's just that you yourself or your person, you're not acknowledging the information that your senses are receiving. So go ahead and tap your forehead just above uh, the eyebrows, but between the eyebrows, go ahead and tap that. Tap, 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 tap. Go under your right eye socket where that bone hits by your eye and tap that. Tap, 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 tap. So you tap in those energy wheels to kind of let yourself know that it's there. Sometimes we need to, we need to touch things to kind of feel it. You know what I'm saying? I hope I... <laughs> clear that out so we have indigo seeds or indigo children we also have this moon and sun energy going on here that's what i'm picking up with the third eye chakra lapis lazuli some clear quartz i have moon stones here some malachite and stelcelite <laughs> you guys are butchering words all around the board today all right so yeah i feel like your person may be struggling with learning about their emotions or connecting or even learning about forgiveness and gratitude that could be some blockages here with your person unable to focus and because they're unable to focus this awareness is really difficult to accept especially when it's coming from a spiritual aspect 
of this person's life and your life as well, right? So clear vision, good memories may be clouded because of this person's feelings. So maybe their heart and their mind is not really up on the same page. And this is why they're so moody. Somebody's out of touch with reality. And this is why they're focusing on negative negative criticism or perceptions of people and the situation. Being that we had present uh, and that connection card first, right? So because they're unable to see things deeply, they're just stuck on the surface level complications or challenges. So what activities could this person or you do to kind of uh, tend to this, chac this chakra right now, being imaginative, letting yourself daydream without filling the scenario with negativity or, or allowing intrusive thoughts to kind of spiral down into darkness, meditation, write down what you're seeing in meditation, write down what you're seeing in these dreams or these nightmares. If you're having difficulties meditating because there's just so much intrusive thoughts, let it play out. Let, let the record run. All right, let it run until you can't, it's like clay. It's like a clay canvas. Because the more you try to control your thoughts, the louder it gets. Have you noticed that? So if you're trying to meditate, and meditate does not mean like you're sitting in one position. This could literally be you walking, taking a walk outside, swimming, dancing. Let those thoughts play out. Let the, re let the record keep playing until it's just clay. Write it down if you need it to be flushed out completely. Enjoy the natural outdoor world. You need natural light. You need sun. Communicate with the moon. Howl at the moon. <laughs> All right. Indulge in your sight. Let your eyes feast on what's interesting or inspiring to look at. Art, paintings, the sky, the sunset the na nature itself, all right? Those are just simple activities you could do to tend to the third eye chakra. I also have affirmation. I, I hope I remember it clearly. It goes something to the effect as I am open. I open myself, sorry. I open myself to accept my intuition and wisdom. Repeat it one more time. I open myself to accept my intuition and wisdom. I trust and follow my inner guidance. I trust and follow my inner guidance. I use intelligency and intuition to see clearly. I use intelligency and intuition to see clearly. Write down what you're seeing, honey boo boo. So let's see what your person is wanting to tell you about what they're seeing. Because they could be seeing things, but because they're hard or because they're un they have unprocessed emotions, it's really difficult to follow through or trust what they're seeing here, what their intuition is trying to yell at them, needs to be alone. So your person, you know, as much as they want to communicate or hang out, they really need to be alone to kind of like comprehend what's going on here. I feel like your person is lacking balance in their moods and they're extremely moody at this time because things that they're seeing, they may not be understanding it or trusting it. I know I said that like three times, right? But that's the big message. So the awareness that they're getting is really hard to comprehend, but they feel it. They feel the truth. It's just for them to accept it. We have money matters. So they could be distracting themselves or they rather pursue money matters or money does matter to this person right now. We have I'm calling you. So this person could be calling you in two in intuitively so you guys could be intuitively communicating even in silence maybe this person is now aware that they have this ability to do to you or with you now remember it doesn't have to be a special higher level soulmate to have telepathic or intuitive communications going on all right so think about that all right because you could be very connected to the, to the third eye chakra with someone that does not mean you well or have really good intentions for you. So pay attention to how you feel. If it's confusing, write it down. Sort it out the best way you can. So you could have like this clear uh, reception going on. All right, so let's get some channel messages. What is this? This person is now having awareness. I'm, I was going to say full awareness about this connection. 
what is this awareness this person is receiving right now saving big bank poker face so your person right now is choosing to kind of focus on money situations this may be a person that you cannot read easily or they have like this resting bitch face even if there's a guy so money uh you know i'm hearing that money doesn't betray them <laughs> but their feelings does I don't know if this was something in the past. Maybe your person is a very emotionally reactive individual. They're not really someone that listened to their intuition. All right. So they're maybe blocking out their intuition and just deciding to focus on money or work. We have do not interrupt their karma. Fall back. So your person knows that they need to be alone. And they could also know full awareness that they have some karma that they need to clear. Uh, they also know that they need that space. So they could be reaching out to you, SOS. They could be, you know, kind of like tapping into their own psyche about you. Decisions. Can, can I have best of both? Please don't pressure me. So your person may be dancing around a very life-changing decision. I feel like they do consider this connection that they have with you but because of their feelings it's so powerful it's clouding their discernment they need to learn to master how they feel so this could be a person that acts out of emotions most of the time so whatever feels too intense or uh out of control they kind of withdraw they don't trust what their intuition is trying to reveal to them and they get back to money. We have cord cutting, burning out, outdated beliefs, breakups, letting go. So some of you may have cord cut with this person or you're trying to. Or this person may be cord cutting in their own life. You know, breaking up with old friends or letting go anything that feels weird. Okay? And I feel like that could be outdated belief. How they saw the world. How they saw money. How they saw you and this connection. It's outdated. So they're now having to cut that out. Alright? i rather do this alone. So this person is clearly telling us. Person. Readers. Audience. This person is clearly telling us. That they need to walk this part of their journey alone that does not mean that they're not going to be involved with other people it's saying that they need to kind of resolve whatever this is alone all right and i feel like the more time that they carve out to be alone the more awareness they have on the connection some of you this person knows that they could telepathically communicate with you all right they know that they're doing this with you tell us more if I knew what I know now, I would choose different. So your person is maturing, they're learning, and they're also dealing with regrets. Show me your heart and I'll show you mine. First move, reciprocated energy, brave and open. So your person may be calling out to you on the 5D. They're trying to draw you in pull you in they would like you to make the first move so it's almost like they want to be left alone to their thoughts to their awareness and you know they're kind of testing i feel like this is a testy type of person so it's like oh my god i'm i'm telepathically communicating with you why are you not picking it up if this connection is is what it is so this person could be sign eyeing you this person could be watching your moves as we speak but they want to they want you to be brave and open up so they could open up too maybe there was some new awareness there was new information and now this person is ready to kind of divulge that or talk about it but they don't want to be the first one to kind of like hey what are you doing i have something i need to say Okay, because they're still dealing with unprocessed emotional trauma. This person panics very easily. And it, again, they don't trust their intuition or their intuitive guidance. They feel trapped most of the time. Some of you, your person could be struggling with a physical illness or this victim mentality that pushes or blocks off the, the third eye chakra. This person could also have a head injury or some sort of neck or shoulder injury. So they are constantly possibly in pain. And this is why they're easily panicked. 
could be a situation like that. Tell us more about the third eye chakra and balance. Look at that. This person wants you to come forward to them first. So they're calling you telepathically and they're testing it to see if you're going to respond or you're going to reciprocate. Some of you, this person wants you to meet them in the 5D. They feel more safer that way. Some sort of dream this person had that they didn't understand. Maybe they need to talk to you about it. Maybe you're like a dream catcher or you know how to decode dreams. Can we start over? A clean slate. The silence is killing me. So your person may be suffering. They may be feeling lost and hopeless, lonely right now. And they want you to talk to them. They're <laughs> This person, they don't want to put themselves out there. Why is that? Maybe money is a problem. I'm dissatisfied with my life, closed off, annoyed, unmotivated, feeling like they're being dragged or string along in a situation. They're trying to step up, detox. They're trying to uh, kind of like surrender to some sort of rebirth. They're wanting to level up because a lot of things has changed. Their perception of possibly other people, you, maybe your, your connection is very unique and your person is starting to see that and they're starting to clean up. They're starting to like gravitate away from things that create emotional imbalance. So they're wanting to refresh some energy for some of you. They would like to have a new beginning. Others of you, your person could be seeing that you're leveling up the toxic core cutting as well. And this is kind of influencing them or they are kind of afraid that you have elevated so much or leveled up so much that they don't have the confidence to approach you. But somewhere in the third eye chakra, they know what they need to do, but they don't trust that they they, they could do it seeking the truth. So your person is trying to seek answers. Hey. And I feel like they're getting it. They're getting it. Obligation. So your person may be weighed down by obligations or they're just tied up in obligations. This could be legal stuff going on. This could be their duties, their responsibilities, and previous commitments that they made possibly with money involved. Tell us more. And this is what's creating this moodiness because it's kind of trapping them Uh or restricting them from kind of like living in the present moment. For others of you, I feel like this person is being blackmailed or guilt tripped. Hey, it's like somebody's calling them out. Maybe they wanted to quit something. Hey, and somebody called them out and they felt guilty. unworthy, insecure, triggered, lack of confidence, lack of money. So your person may be brokey or they just does not have the extra funds to pursue you. I feel like they're getting some answers or reality check and they're triggered by it. So this person could have um, invested in something that's a dead end or they're kind of seeing how their outdated beliefs or like some sort of loyalty is keeping them connected and tied, possibly not even connected, but tied to situations that create moodiness. And they're triggered by that truth, by that awareness. So, you know, they may be looking at you and seeing like, I cannot give you my presence or the things that you deserve because I'm fucked up with money and other obligations is restricting me. I feel safer in silence. So your person, they know the truth or they're coming into full awareness of this connection, but they're choosing to stay silent because they may have been off about what's really going on here because again not trusting their intuition not looking deeper into things not trusting their senses but reacting out of emotions so they're like embarrassed or maybe they don't like to admit that they're wrong so they could be playing off like they're good they're happy but they're really not tell me more they feel safer in silence they feel safer in that 5d but it's like all, it could be feeling like fantasy or just plain imagination. And I feel for some of you, you're getting really annoyed that this person is resorting to that type of communication. I recognize who you are. So they recognize who you are to them. They recognize this connection and who you are in this connection, possibly. 
I don't see the light, lazy, lost, denial, darkness. So we have the keyword lost twice. So your person may be just wandering because of this confused or muddled thinking. They don't see how to get through something. So they could feel personally attacked or feel like a victim here. And this is what's keeping them in this pessimistic attitude. Let's do business. So maybe this person's love language is business, power, money, collaborations. All right. So maybe this person likes to mix business with pleasure or they like to do business with close family members or this is just their MO. They get in relationships and they uh, kind of expect their partner to invest or they actually look for partners that are willing to invest in them. So this person wants to do business with you. Because they may be going through a financial struggle or they want to share their assets with you or they feel like they could do more as a team. They're not too sure. They're mixed feelings about that. Maybe you kind of like addressed that before and they wanted to know if that changed. Maybe you have some really outdated uh, beliefs or this person thinks that you have outdated beliefs and that's causing like this stifled energy between the both of you. I, yeah, I choose you. So it says, yes, I choose you. Clarity, vows, proud, two halves, one whole, cherished, hold, right? So you may have have a hold on this person. You may have taught this person how to look at things more deeply instead of the surface level or the basic moods. And I feel like this person is very proud of what you guys have, the connections. They may also made a vow to you. Maybe this was done a long time, time ago. Maybe this, I don't know, I'm seeing 14, 57, 57, 57, 57. Author... Some, something about Korea, California, possibly San Francisco. I'm also seeing St. Louis, St. Paul, Salt Lake City. It's taken longer than I thought. Passionate patience. So this money situation could be a back and forth thing. Just when your person think that they have things very stable, something else happens and pulls them back or sets them back. And they could also be working on their moods, on their moodiness, on their feelings. And that's taken longer than they ever expected or thought. It's difficult than they thought. We have learning the lessons uh, second chance growth ready for the next level. So, you know, I feel like this is how they feel some days or other moments. And then it's like, I'm really lost. I'm, I'm really hopeless. I can't see how this is possible. And it's like, as soon as they think that they have healed or they have overcome or they have stability, something knocks them over again, or they're triggered by somebody else triggering them, or they're triggered with more truth or information. And it's like, I have to constantly be restarting. Some of you, this person is constantly restarting in their life. It's always a new beginning. It's never something that's maintained going to another level is a constant redo, constant redo, constant redo constant starting over it's never like oh my god completed starting a new level completed starting a new level so it's like they're always in the, this hamster wheel where they want to like elevate without climbing a ladder really hmm, very interesting grow apart all right so this person may feel like right now it's unrequited love or they're giving you unrequited love because you know there's some differences here in how you both communicate or show feelings. I feel like this person reacts emotionally, but they hold back their emotions and affections. You guys have totally different love languages. This person recognized that, that they have awareness of that. Maybe in the past, you guys had no boundaries and you guys were just doing whatever you feel to do without being smart about it. 
And I feel like that had a consequence to this whole setup. So this person could be expecting you to come back in that same old version or same old way, but it did not get some of you anywhere. Like maybe you are constantly showing this person emotions and try to balance the situation but this person was not giving you that because they felt personally attacked in some way or they just they just didn't feel the need to with that laziness. Uh, and I feel like when you gave them like maybe silent treatment or you decide to no longer do that, it confused this person. So now they're trying to sit with themselves and figure out, well, if this person is no longer doing this and that, why do I still feel connected to you? Why do, why am I hearing your voice in my psyche? Cause I feel like you're popping up like statements or words, or even your name is popping up in this person's uh, third eye chakra, you know, and you, you guys could have stopped talking for a while, possibly even moved on. But this person is still stuck on the emotions that they never got to express or only now they're having additional information because they're now listening to that third eye chakra or intuition. And, you know, just because somebody listens to their intuition does not guarantee that they're going to act on that moving forward. All right. So it's a big difference. You could be hearing your intuition from here to the moon, but for some, they do not react or they do not respond or they do not trust to follow through on that guidance. All right. So some of you may have grown apart or this person may feel like you're grown apart or you feel like they're grown apart from you because they're choosing to do a lot of things alone now. And they're starting to see the truth that they didn't see before. Now, tell me more stuck in the past so your person is not in the present and we did see the presence card so your person is not really enjoying the present moments because they're stuck on the things that they missed during this connection when this connection was alive and well or just alive right tell me more about this person's expressions my heart needs work so your person is fully aware that they have unprocessed emotional trauma and they're very incapable of opening their heart hey, to their feelings. Forgiveness. So something needs to be released through forgiveness. I took things for granted. I'm sorry. Can we move past this? Healing, letting go. So this person may want to know, uh, can you forgive them? Can we kiss and make up now? I'm not trying to disregard the shit that I done did or, you know, the things I took for granted. I'm saying, you know, now that I have new awareness of this connection, can we move past this? Is this something that's sal salvable, salvable, <laughs> solvable, salvable, salvage? <laughs> you guys get it. I've been busy lately, but I'm thinking of you. So they try to busy themselves. And no matter how hard they try, you're in their psyche. And it's frustrating because they could have thought that this would have been over or because you guys have some different love language you know, they would have moved on or gotten over you. But for some of you, they have not. They're still thinking about you. Yeah, unrequited love. So some of you took your love away. And I feel for some of you, this person was not showing you uh, or giving the love that you needed or the love that this relationship needed to stay afloat. They know that. And now that they're looking back, it feels kind of like, wow, did I really act that way? Like they're surprised in the way how they acted here. This is why they're stuck in the past because I feel for some of you, check out my flame. I feel for some of you, they kind of feel like if it was them in your shoes, they would not have been so tolerant. I feel like your person is aware that they had no fucking boundaries and they were choosing people that they didn't really care about. Could be possibly career advancement or money advancement. But they're learning. I did see learning the lesson twice. Let's get some more channel messages. Channel message from this person to my viewer. What is this feeling that they're feeling? Their heart is calling to you. Deep impact 
on my life or of my life it's real between us so the person wants you to know like hey this stuff that we're going through it's real they know that now they have full awareness that it's real between the both of you regardless of how different you guys are it's real time is money this is a very serious so you know what they could be dispassionate like they just cool they're like a cool head despite of the ray of emotions or feelings that they're feeling better to do things as quickly as possible that may may be an outdated belief that they need to kind of sever ties or sever ever doing again but this person is is up and down ripping the roads or streets for money they're doing what they need to do for money hi i know it's late but can we talk i don't want to scare you three 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 growth abundance prosperity is coming to your doorstep that may be something that they're seeing that three three number sync or you you are and that abundance does not have to limit to financial situation or matters it could be you know abundance of awareness hey abundance of ideas thoughts dreams it's coming in pretty strong and a lot of it i feel like time is running out please reach out to me so this person is testing the telepathic communication between the both of you they are willfully for some of you this person is spitefully doing it because it feels safer than actually picking up the damn phone and calling you for some of you this person cannot get in contact with you and this is why they're going through telepathic communication they're literally popping up in your thoughts randomly their name pops up their birthday pops up it's like what the fuck right why are you so obsessed with me? Now just playing. <laughs> yeah, awareness. The crown chakra is open. I'm also hearing spirit blissed or a union with the almighty revelations happening here. Tell me that you love me, but only if you mean it. So this person wants to know how you feel about them, but they want the real truth. They want the honest truth. All right, so I guess you could text them or call them. Hey, love, I love you. Just reminding you, I love you, right? Anyway, this person could be holding back and going in silent treatment or not communicating with you because it's nothing that they could do to change anything or something at this present moment. So it will be all talk and no action. For some of you, this person is not going to respond to your texts because they feel like trapped. They feel like is nothing they could really do. There is more than one factor that's limiting this person from doing anything or taking action when it comes to you. So this is possibly why they're in this 5D realm uh, wanting to kind of communicate or connect with you there. Yeah, it's too many risks. So your person may be tight for cash. I'm hearing they're a tight one. Or the life that they have set up, it's really, um, it's like some major uh adjustments that need to be made but they feel it's too many risk or it's too risky risky to commit to the end goal so they backed out this is why they want to be alone for some of you they do love you they do understand the connection but how their life is set up how uh things that they need to kind of it's like they have a lot that they need to get done and this is why they're not seeing the light because it's too much risk that's why we had lazy, lost, and pessimistic, all right? So this person may have gotten themselves in a situation because of money. Maybe they married for money, or maybe they got in, they got in a very karmic career for money or lifestyle for money, all right? That's just a couple of scenarios. It says, me plus you equal a match made in heaven. Everything makes sense with you. Listen, I have to tell you, some of you, this person may be in a marriage or they're in a long-term relationship. I feel like this person uh, is still very open or they make themselves accessible to you. I, I feel if this person is married, they do know that this is not the right way to do it. And they try to resist you or they try to hold back or they try to like stay away from however they're getting in contact with you. But it's difficult because you put a lot of things in perspective. What the F was that? <laughs> Something happened in my tank just now. The water was just bubbling up. I don't know if one of my fishes was jumping or there was some water that 
dripped in it <laughs> that was weird anyway i wish i caught that but anyway i feel like this well, i forgot what i was saying so maybe i got distracted for a reason just now but i feel like uh, you put a lot of things in perspective rather than take the lead so they may be in a relationship or a situation where somebody is like taking the lead or providing and with you it just feels like they could be themselves, you know, they they understand things brightly and clearly when you guys are really good uh, communicating. I feel powerless in my situations. Looking at you makes me feel strong. Karmic cycles. For some of you, listen, you guys have a very unique bond, but this person is attached to other things. And I feel like they know why they got in attachment with these things. But now that they're progressing with more awareness and self-awareness, they're realizing that they need to cut these attachments and that's going to take some time. I also feel like when they say it's too many risks to commit to the end goal, for some of you, they don't want to pull you into what karmic cycles is happening with whoever it's happening with because they feel like you're strong. And they don't want to burden you. They don't want to contaminate heaven. For some of you, are like a paradise to this person. And you know that meme or that saying that goes, you know, if you want an angel, you don't create hell. You create heaven or something. So I feel like this person, they're trying to work towards clearing this karmic cycles or these karmic uh, contracts with different individuals because it it leaves them powerless and emotionally unstable. These things kind of trigger the worst in them. But having you, knowing you, connecting with you on the 5D makes them feel like this is achievable. But there's that laziness there. So your person may be a lazy lover or they're very content with whatever is going on here. They could be making up excuses. I don't know how to tell the karmic I want out. I feel guilty for wanting to leave after everything the karmic did for me. So this karmic could literally be a parent. It could be a family member. It could be a marriage situation. It could be a long term. This people are is attached to other people through what others could do for them. And because of that, they are attached to them through guilt. So your person may feel like they're using someone else or, you know, they could also feel guilty uh, for trying to have best of both worlds or they could feel a little bit of uh, selfishness here that they want you and they still have some something else going on in the background. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't, but they want to leave because the more self-awareness this person achieves, the more that they process uh, unemotional trauma, the more disconnected they're going to be with things that kept them in that powerless position. They are now having that deep awareness of it, but they don't know how to tell whomever. And this could be a parent, an elder parent that was taking care of them, that guilt stripped them. They don't know how to tell them, Hey, I want to start doing things for me now. Because this karmic person or individual did a lot for your person. 666 six, six, organize your mind in a positive way and positive results would follow so your person struggles with being positive they struggle with seeing the light in things because of how deep and dark the hole is that they kind of dig dug for themselves they need to start learning how to express their needs they need to start nurturing and caring for themselves so this is a karmic lesson that's teaching your person about anxiety that comes from fair based thoughts is teaching them about self love is teaching them how to trust their intuition the karmic knows about us guilt tripping arguments and threats i'm done so this could be literally a third party affair a love triangle this could also be that your person is really in deep snot with very karmic -y individuals i don't want to get I don't want to get close enough to hurt. Arm's length, distance, 
feels right for the time being. So this person knows that they have the ability to break you down. Maybe they know that. Maybe you express that. Again, maybe they're seeing a lot of things that they did not catch in the past. But this is what it is. Your person may have this codependency that they're struggling with. Maybe they were codependent on their mother. They end up picking somebody that resembles or reflects how their mother uh, kind of like raised them. Now that they're getting older and more mature, it's like, oh my gosh, like I really built this life from a powerless state of mind. We have success is rarely created unless you're having fun at it. So your person is not really enjoying their life right now. A person's biggest mistake is to believe they're working for someone else. Oh, your person is very codependent. Hey? And it could be a very karmic career. Should have... <laughs> Should have is a favorite phrase for those looking for excuses. So your person may be very pessimistic and is like, I should have, I should have done that. They're making a lot of excuses for their laziness. When one must, one can. Follow the advice of your heart. <laughs> So that's the uh, messages for your person. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It was all channel messages from your person's higher self, as you could see with the third eye chakra and the crown chakra energy. So yeah, if you understood the content, if you felt it in your heart, in your soul, big up on yourself in the comment box below. Check out the description box and how you could hit that love, that tip jar as well it's not necessary like subscribe share hit that notification bell so you never miss another channel message and i'll see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao